lot of information up here in the top left hand corner. What we'll basically have, see what it says, range, mm -hmm. 25 centimetres, can everybody see that? Yeah. yeah. That's basically the, the depth that the ultrasound's penetrating into the uterus of the sheep. Okay. So, for instance, if they're further in pregnancy, you're on the twenty. You're on the upper. You're on the top limit. You're twenty-five centimeters. Here we are. See, we're on the range menu, guys. Okay, come through the uh, through the whole menu. Arrows up and down. It's quite self-explanatory. Range. You can drop it down. Twenty-two. Duncan and I do a lot of scanning on twenty-five, twenty-two centimeters. That's majority of the scan is done. You'll find today you'll get things in here that are maybe only about 35, 40 days in lamb. You probably want to drop down to 19. Basically all that's doing is it's it's bringing everything back down so that it's magnifying the smaller um, the images that you're coming back off. Right, moving down from that, up in the left hand corner we've got the frequency, we've got 3.5 megahertz. All these probes you'll see in the back of them, 3.5 TT. All three and a half meg probes. Um, basically, you can move through the range frequencies on this one as well. Frequency. So we can alter that up. Duncan and I quite often the Novi sixes now. We're actually scanning most of our sheep on five. See how it's changed the see how it's changed the edge of the fan on the screen mm -hmm. there. See how we brought it back to three and a half. Now to me that's a far nicer picture because that lets me know where the actual edge of the fan is. Yeah. And it gives me a, as an operator, I'm happier working with that image than I was with the one at three and a half. Your power and your gain, basically, that's the power, the amount of ultrasound that's getting put into the, you know, the, the ultrasound that's emitting from your probe. The bigger, the heavier, the fatter the sheep, if it's, for instance, Suffolk, South Downs, any big continental sheep, you would up your power slightly to give you more to get penetrate all that fat that's there basically. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get down to it, like say onto more sort of um, fell sheep, hill sheep, you know, smaller, leaner sheep, then you can bring your power back a bit. You don't need just as much power going in there. Your gain control is basically a sort of fine tuning of the image. And it's the gain is what it, the image that it's receiving because it's it's basically ultrasound is just like your submarine, it's sending out sound waves all the time. So you think of that, anybody's seen the films of the submarines and they hear that ping, ping, ping. It's the same idea as that, it's sending out sound waves and as the sound waves come back, that's what's interpreted on our screen. Here, okay? <coughs> so the, ultras the ultrasound's getting sent out, as it's coming back, and the gain is, is altering the images that are coming back in there. So that's just sort of fine tuning to give you a, a, a finger and image. Right, along the top here, we've got a contrast scale. See all the different colours are? Mm -hmm. Now I think, Scott there, is it 256 shades of grey or something? Yep. That we get through um, with the, with the OB-Scan 6. So you think about 256 shades of grey, so that's all the different... Um, so basically that's, a, that's you're coming onto your... Um, you also get a brightness and here we are, brightness and contrast. Okay, so it's basically your brightness. You know, you can brighten the screen up as much as you like. Bring it down. Basically, you want to run them about 10 and 10. That's the way I find them. This is a setup there in the factory. Um, along the top here, it's all quite self-explanatory. Once you've your tally counter in, you can see you've got empty singles, twins, triplets, four. Once you've your tally counter in, press the button, all that information's going in there and held in the scanner as well, okay? So, your setting button here is the one you use the most. That just goes through all the different menus. There we are, we've been in. That was, that was giving us frequency change, range, gain, power. Mm -hmm. So you can alter all those four things up in this top left hand corner on that one subsection in the menu, okay? Moving on from here, we've got image. Invert and reverse. So if you want to be, if you were scanning cattle, you would uh, you would invert it, and it's scanning from the top, okay. And also when you're scanning cattle, you need to reverse it, so it's scanning like that. So that's 
so this is actually now this is actually now spinning on the opposite side. Okay. Um, the beauty of these things is you can set them up to come on whatever, you know, once you're happy with the settings and this scanner, you can set up set the button and every time you switch it on, she automatically comes back on the same way that you've finished okay. scanning. So once you're happy with the setup, set it up and that's it, it can go. Okay. Yeah. Fetal age at the moment we've got off. Press it on. Now, see we've got a lot more information on the screen here. This one's actually to do with cattle, but we'll move on to sheep. Right, now, see how we've got the circles up in each corner? These are all sort of pre-programmed into software. This is what they would call the trunk diameter. So basically, right through the rib cage, if you were to take a cross section of that lamb, mm -hmm. 70 days of age, on 19 centimetres, I hasten to add, that's, that would be the size of the lamb on the screen. Okay? And over here, the small one is 63 days and the big one's 84 days. So that's taking a cross section. So that there's, that's there for if you go into scan sheep and the farmer says to you what stage are these lambs at, you know, what age, you know, how far in pregnancy are they, and you can use this here then to identify how far on the lamb that the sheep actually is, giving the farmer back more information again, okay? This is your tally counter guys, um, drafting, you don't really need to know too much about that just now. Tally clear, uh, that's if you want to clear all the information off the top of that before you go to the next job. This is where you would press, once you're happy with all your settings, see what it says over store, you would then hit that button you then hit that button there and then that would save all your settings. The dual store one is if you're pulling this bottom module out and you're basically setting this up um, with goggles or a, a remote display or whatever, then you can set your settings up, preset them in here before you take this out, so that's what your dual store is for. Next section again, um, this is for your tally counter guys. Um, you've got a running total here and you've got an add plus clear. This is if you've got, if you're into a farm and you've got three different batches of sheep, you can scan the first batch, um, you give them his percentage for them, then you hit the add plus clear button and that puts it onto a running total and at the end you can have three different batches all split into different lots and it still keeps a running total of the complete amount of sheep you've done. So, for example, if you had 900 sheep and you'd scan three batches of 300, at the end it would still show 900 sheep scanned up. 